right, so I'm going to try to prep this graphics card to get it ready for uh, water cooling. Never done this before. We're just going to take the heat sink off and replace it with this heat sink, these little mounting hardwares, and then we're going to put on these little heat sinks on the VRAM. It's got its own little um, stickums thermal patch or pad I should say and these ones are for the MOSFETs they also have little pre-done thermal pads on there which is nice makes it easy finally And that's some pretty, well, it's not too crusty actually. Still uh, kind of wet a little bit, so that's good. I get a Q-tip. There she is. The R9 270, two gigabyte. Let's try to clean the dust off of the top of these memory chips. They're actually pretty dirty. Just just rubbing rubbing the tops of those chips a little bit it has quite a bit of old scum and built up dust on there. You know that? Especially since I don't know how good these heat sinks are, like the adhesive on those little pads and stuff. So Really want to clean these pretty good. Dirty. This one this way just to make sure it doesn't interfere with that. So I'm already running into a little bit of a problem because I'm going to have to set up the tubes coming out this way instead of this way. These two chips, the memory chips down here, don't have enough clearance for a little heat sink. So I'm either going to put a little bit of these little MOSFET ones around the edges where they will fit. I don't know how much heat that will actually draw out of there, but or I might just chop these down because it still has these grooves going through it and I could still 
you know, chop it down. But it's a little bit of a bummer. They seem to stick on there pretty good. Seeing how well it will stick after the card heats up and stuff, but let's keep going. MOSFETs. Alright, so I put all my little VRAM heat sinks and the little MOSFET heat sinks. I've never done this before, like I said, so I'm just putting them all where I think they go on all the little chips. Um, these two, like I said, it's getting really close as far as being able to fit uh, those heat sinks under there. But what I did was I took this fitting off and I put a smaller one on and reduced the profile by quite a bit. It's looking kind of cool though. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the water block on. Here's the Chinese water block. Still has the plastic on it. If I can pick at it. There it goes. It's pretty important to pull that off. Just to make sure there's no residue. Take that off. Leave one of them on. And put it through the back. Here. And now we gotta do those that for all four. Alright, I'm just gonna try to put enough to cover the chip. I'm guessing that's probably enough, I think. I hope. I think I did this wrong. Unfortunately. Uh, let's take it back off. I'm kind of curious about how much thermal paste to put on there anyways. And then these little tiny nuts, which I didn't do before. Alright, I didn't realize I was supposed to put these little, these little nuts right down in here to hold this little peg or this little bolt nice and sturdy so now it's all in place I really don't know how much tension is supposed to be on there. I think that's, that's probably good. Hmm. All right. Well, now I gotta trim these up and we'll stick those under there. I have uh, finished putting all the heat sinks on and the water block. These ones, I trimmed them down. Like I said, I was going to, and they fit pretty good. These are still 
able to loosen up without a problem. So now that we got those done, I think I'm going to uh, set up some sort of, you know, um, test bench of some sort to do this because I'm not going to hook it up in the DT just yet until I get the full loop going and see how it cools and all that stuff. So let's see what I can rig up.